Did Chris go to visit the baby mom? Air it out, Paige. Right, what you know about that? Nah, Virginia. Jacob, you be knowing. Vincent, we understand. Yeah, Pastor Cat. Yeah. Really trying to say that she did it live. Brianna is very motherly. How do you know what she's thinking, uh, Eric? Come on, Jacob. He's trying to get back with his name. Of course he is. That little dog is nuts. <gasps> Haley. He thinks he has to teach her everything. Come on, interest. You better turn to your neighbor and smack them in the face. You understand how that is confusing? I haven't done a fun filter in a while. You're talking to her like she's a child. I am a folding Nazi. I don't like that. He's yeah, so like odd. It makes me feel wow. really good, and this is not even my relationship. Proceed. Here we go, y'all. Married at First Sight, season 12, episode, is this seven? Episode seven. How do you know if you're in love, Ryan? This is the episode where they go home and normal life starts. Yo, I hope that the experts come in and save Paige. Everybody, take the hand of your neighbor. I'm alone, just hold my pillow. And everybody breathe. We are releasing the toxicity of men and we are inhaling and pushing out the power to Paige to get out this shit because this is crazy. All right, so I'm in the airport um, by myself. <gasps> Haley. Yesterday. Haley, who has been single for seven years and who was in a committed long-term relationship at 15, has a boyfriend. Girl, you change your seat. That's petty. You gonna see him when you land. What are you doing that for? Y'all, while I have you, can we talk the topic of decorative towels? What the fuck are they there for? I know they say decorative, but don't hang a decorative towel next to a towel that I need to actually use to dry myself with. Also, don't make it look like a regular towel. You understand how that is confusing? That's like the living room furniture with the plastic on it that's keeping it from getting damaged, but you can't even sit on the living room furniture. Or like my grandma, you can't even go in the living room. <laughs> they got a bright slime green comforter. <laughs> First of all, come on, Vincent, with the easy. Quirks is picking up behind people. So if I see that some things are out of place or they're not to my liking, I will pick them come up. Come on, interest. Brianna is very motherly. Vincent might not like that now, but when it comes to kids and the family that he wants very soon, this is going to be great. And you know, sometimes I may be that person because, man, I'm... oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Eric, he loves that she's younger, but I think he also loves that he has to teach her or he thinks he has to teach her everything because everything is a big life lesson for him. So this dynamic is a little odd. Also, why does everyone have that same analog clock? Why is this music telling me that Paige is by herself in this lonely room waiting for her man to call? We're Chris girl, y'all. Did he go to bed? Oh, did Chris go to visit the baby moms to check on the baby? This man left to go to Chicago because he needs space. Who believes that? Who believes Chris is not going to his ex fiances to see the baby, to fall in love, and to say I love you and I'll be back after this show? Is there one? You better turn to your neighbor and smack them in the face. If they think that this lie that Chris is telling us about just going to Chicago because he needs space is actually true. You know what I loved about that moment right there? Both of those guys sat on the couch and Clara immediately put her feet on Ryan and he immediately embraced it. I love it. Ryan goes to bed at 10.30. Yo, I got a friend that goes to bed at 10.30 religiously. Y'all, let me tell you how I'll be up past 12 often. They get me in the middle. These two. Jacob, you're going with the, you're giving me the cold shoulder and that's because you've been seeing someone else. Like, that's a little punk way to get out of why you guys are not connecting. That's what you're gonna go to right away. And then she said, that's insulting. And you said, okay, if it's insulting, fine. Come on, Jacob. Y'all, again with these people who get upset and can't eat. Ain't no emotion in the world ever changed my eating habits. I wish it would, y'all. Also, is Haley trying to say that she did it live? I don't do well with people that are high strung and oh, my gosh, ooh, anxiety. Yo, he keeps throwing jab after jab after jab. Jacob, cause your feelings are hurt, that doesn't mean you go down and like punch somebody in the gut with all these insults. Don't do that. Anyway, I don't like I this. we can finish to her, I don't think we'll be here too long. Oh. Just what we have right now. Oh my God. I called this, y'all remember that, I called this. That Jacob was not nice to women, told y'all. Also, you know what I didn't like in that scene? He comes out the room with his hands up like this and Haley backs away as if she's like scared of what he might do. I don't like that for her, and I don't like for whatever energy he's putting off to make her scared. I feel like I haven't done a fun filter in a while, guys, so this is what you're gonna get. 
we've moved into a new house, so this kind of makes sense. Bree is going to be such a problem. Vincent got to love this girl through this, but my God, Bree, just sat out. Can move forward and sort of rekindle oh. what we had. Wait, he's saying I hope she forgives me and we can move forward. Meanwhile, Haley is leaving the apartment. Uh, this is like for my sorority. Like She's a sorority home. girl, 100%. Right. If you don't notice that there's a cat around until they tell you, you have no symptoms that tell you a cat is around, you're not allergic. I will literally sit in my office and I would be typing like, oh my God, my tear duct itches. Someone got a flower delivery. <laughs> I'll like walk around and it'll, my eyes, if it's really close to me, my eyes will be like, sis, this ain't right. You in somebody's home in a confined area where the cat lives and you have no symptoms? You ain't allergic, Eric. Wait, she was about to give the cats up because of Eric? I feel like that should have been in his package where he's like, I can't date a woman who has cats because I'm highly allergic. And because you didn't say that, it doesn't really matter. You just don't like cats. You don't like cats. Just say that. He's like, acid wash. I just got up. Did he say that's a Karen blouse? Jacob, you be knowing? I really like him. Eric with this these bachelor leather pouches that fold up that you can get in the store that has like those mirror joints and mad crystal chandeliers. The headboard that has like the buttons, but the buttons be like the jewel. Sorry if I'm talking about your house. You get that so you can wipe it down when you spill your alcohol. Wow, that chandelier is gorgeous. See, he just doesn't like cats. Ooh, Jacob's house. This is what we've been waiting for, y'all. He's so odd. Wait, members only are us back. This is just making Haley even less attracted to him. Hold on. They are going to have four dogs, not small either, medium size and large dogs in that two bedroom apartment. I know there's a limit. Haley's dog is scared. Stop that. She's a difficult one. It's okay, Chloe. It's okay. It's not that off. That little dog is nuts. We like a little Ryan with the camo hat. It's a plain black tee in my hood, bugger. Ryan, to be so organized, regimented, routine, your life ain't that put together, sir. You living in a bachelor pad, a very nice one. No, you're living a bachelor life in a very nice home. Ryan, we would have never expected this, okay? Now I'm not gonna believe your ass as much. You talking all this talk, but you ain't living it. Also, I had an ex who used to do that. He was just like, there's no need to fold stuff and would throw everything in the drawer. I am a folding Nazi. That would not fly. Is that a Rock Nation hat? Ryan, what you know about that? Ryan, you a little more down. I see moments. You a little more down than you originally portrayed. It could be the brother influence, but, hmm. What's she saying? Do you want to go to a new place? She oh, talks in the baby voice. She has two, four, six photo frames, seven, eight, really, all together on a table just for her dog. Wow. Oh my God, I love that. Cool, 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 cool. No doubt. Nice. It's a little smaller than yours. Sure. Sure. Yes. Sure. Oh, do you like do the fold where you can see the shirt? Yep. Oh, Marie Kondo. Can I say this? Have we seen Ryan without his shirt? We would like to. Proceed. Does everyone live on the first floor now? Did we learn that from production that we can save time by not being on an elevator? By putting everybody on the first floor? Or is that just how these places are built? <laughs> Look at Vincent yeah, with this only grown man gut over cookie. And it's on brand. Past their cow! We need you! Not so much for them. Kind of. Kind of, actually. I really feel like she completes me, you know. Uh, I think we're both really motivated people. I found the person I want to be with for the rest of my life. This is amazing. So that meant it makes me feel really good. It makes me feel wow. really good, and this is not even my relationship. This filter is way too fitting because I'm eating chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. Don't tell my trainer. You know, normally I feel like sometimes I would say everything is going so perfectly. Like, why is Pastor Cal trying to pull out something that's bad? It's going to negatively affect the marriage. But 
In this instance, I think he's pulling. You can't see my hands. He's pulling to make sure that they are looking at, they're not in this like honeymoon fantasy stage and they actually can dive deeper so that if those moments do arise when he's not here, they can be figured out. But I do think our girl Brie is kind of taken off guard a little bit. But I'm glad Vincent is stepping up and saying something because we know it's bothering him. What just happened here is that Vincent thought he could bring something up that was minor and realized how major it is. And he's like, wait. And he's trying to dig himself out of this hole, but it's not working. It's like everything that he says gets worse and worse. Oh, the disrespect bothers me. No, 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 no. Wait, it's not disrespect. It's how you say it. It's the tone. Wait, I just don't want to react poorly. No, no, no. I'm not like really aggressive and angry. I just don't want to say the bad things to, you know, my wife like I care about her. <laughs> it's a lot. Poor Vincent, we understand. It's just, damn, as soon as you opened your mouth, it was like, damn, couldn't take that back. We're really just going from one amazing filter to another. So enjoy this Mr. Ooh, gender neutral potato head party fireworks underground festivities. She said, stop looking at me like I'm a child. This isn't a phase. This is my personality. So you're going to have to deal with it. That's consummated the marriage yet. Yes, we have. Yeah, we know they have. Bruce. When do we think it happened? Hundred percent the night of the fight. Or the night before. The day of the fight. That's why they were late. I hate that Eric is talking like, oh, she's she hasn't well, maybe it's justified. I think she thinks this might be more of a boyfriend girlfriend thing than a oh. than a marriage. She hates that he's saying that. Do not speak for her, Eric. Let her talk for herself. You're talking to her like she's a child. I don't like that. Okay, so he said, be careful, again, like a parent, like he's talking to someone who's younger, who is not careful, versus what you say to a partner or someone is like, hey, have fun, text me when you get there. That's totally different. Mm, so you don't ask for permission, but you don't just say, oh, I'm going and leaving. Like you do have a conversation with your spouse or your partner and say like, Hey, uh, the girls are having brunch. I'm gonna head down there at four or whatever. You okay taking the kids now? Like you have conversations like that. That's not asking for permission, but that's getting a buy-in from your spouse for sure. Every How do you know what she's uh, thinking, like, Eric? I don't mean that you are free to do whatever you want. That's you don't that's have not to. Sometimes I like pass out on my guy friend's couch because like after like, driving home and we've been up late. It's my two best friends. They live blocked from each other. Like I sleep on one of their two couches a lot of the time. Nah, when Virginia. Virginia says, I see where you're coming from, but you also got to know things change when you get married. You can't have your married friend passed out drunk on your couch. Like, you just can't do it. Oh, Lord. What is this? He don't want cameras? Chris would not allow production to film the conversation with Paige. <gasps> what, our mics on? Chris and Paige cut their microphones. I cannot wait. What do you say? He's trying to get back with his neck. Of course he is. He wants to move forward and get divorced. Oh, you know, like divorce Ooh! Sis, I don't know how you can't believe this. He has told you 17,000 times. One, that he's not into you. Two, that he don't find you attractive. Three, that you're not his normal type. Four, that he's been talking to his ex about getting back together. Five, that he doesn't want another man to raise his child. And six, that he has been texting back and forth with his ex. And seven, he didn't even want to get on a flight with you, sis, because he went back and spoke to a divorce attorney after sitting down and speaking to this woman about getting back together. And you can't believe this? I would say read the room, but <laughs> read your life. Also, I'm sorry that this happened to you, sis. You don't deserve that. She's disgusted for, because she had sex with this man. That's why she's disgusted. Period. I'm done. This is bull. All the most dramatic ass, you know, drag me through. Ooh. You. That bitch. We'll have this conversation with Pastor Cal. I'll get out. I'll just Air it out, Paige. Sis literally went through all the stages of grief in these last, like, three days. It was, like, denial. There was sadness. I don't know the stages. There was anger. Ooh, it's frustration one. <laughs> it's murder two. <laughs> All right, I gotta end this for now because I already know as soon as Chris gets down with Pastor Cal and I see or hear him say something, I'm in a whole nother segment. Stay tuned for part two with me, your girl Rizzo.